Hello everybody on YouTube, Sonic Waffles here, and today, welcome back to, oh wait, and today, welcome back, what the, I need to work on this intro apparently, um, no, I'm not gonna get, get into the habit of a robotic intro, but, I'm at here at the village, and you might be noticing that this is a really weird village, I, I've probably, I've pretty, pretty, I play, excuse me, I've pretty much set this up for uh, just breeding purposes. I don't know. I, I haven't played around too much with how you build these houses correctly. So I've just pretty much thrown up walls, thrown up doors, and hope they reproduce. And it's worked quite well. Uh, there are a few extra villagers in here, and I'm looking for a librarian. Uh, just so I can trade all this paper that I've made. Um, I've... Oh, ooh, whoa. It is. You guys better calm yourselves. What, what do you want? You want a book? You want some. Alright. You guys are worthless. Um, but yeah. I actually tried to record this episode a little bit ago. Actually, not a little bit ago. Probably about a day ago. And the audio failed. Actually, I failed. I did not unmute my mic. I had my mic mute when I was playing some Call of Duty. And, well. I flipped flipped my my recording software on and forget to turn my mic on as well, so that led to me having some audio issues. Uh, so that's why I'm doing this today, and you're not watching me at the castle. I am going to go to the castle once I find this guy with paper. I really don't know what's up with it. Is that? I thought there was a guy over there for a second. Um, I really don't know why. I can't find this guy. I just saw him, like, a few minutes ago. Is this him? Is this you? No? No? Oh, I, did, I traded with this guy. What did, oh, he wants wool. I don't have a spider spawner. Otherwise, I would. That's, that's a good trade. Wool, because you can get that pretty easily. Maybe it was this guy. He wants a written book. How do you make a written book? Uh, I think it's just a feather and an ink sack. Do I have those? I'm not sure. Um, man. All right, then. Well, maybe, maybe I was lying. I, I was definitely lying. What are you doing up there, man? What are you doing? Uh, I don't have. Oh, there. You have some paper. Um, let's see. I don't have any feathers. I got some ink. Ink sucks. But I do not have any feathers, which is a problem. Okay. Well, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what I've been trying to do, and you'll notice that I'm actually putting these pumpkins to work, uh, because. I wanted to get sugarcane. I need a lot of paper so I can get a lot of emeralds because if you didn't know, uh, sugarcane is exponential. It is extremely exponential. You can uh, just start off with one piece of sugarcane and all of a sudden you're getting fields of it. Uh, just now I've gotten a few stacks and I turned that into... What? This guy's just invincible, isn't he? Uh, I turned it into all that paper that you just saw and because of that it's just proof that you can get this stuff extremely fast. And the way you do it is by this. Um, I've got this lit up, or I've got this lit up a certain way, uh, which I'm actually kind of happy that it's lit up. But I looked online, and apparently this is the most... Let me clear out some sugarcane. Uh, what, what we're doing here is we are putting a pumpkin down. Uh, this is... I got this idea from Etho. Uh, it's just so you can get light around without taking up any of your spaces. Oh. And, man, the creepers. If they didn't do uh, environmental damage, then I wouldn't mind them. But I got this from Etho. He just put, um, put a pumpkin down there. And uh, this lily pad design was not his, so uh, I, I thought uh, that I'm going to give credit to him because I, I don't want to be accused of stealing other people's stuff and claiming it's my own. But uh, the lily pad's been thought of before. Uh, I just saw him put some pumpkins under there. So you can actually light the place up too without sacrificing spots for torches. You can uh, just use the pumpkins. Lily pad's on top so you can walk all over it. And the way you're doing this is you're going to have a 4x4 four four main growing spot. And then you're going to... What are, what are you doing? Get out, of, get out of the water. No, those are lily pads. You can't step through. The oh, look at that. Look at that. Free shovel. Um... But what we're doing here is we're making a 4x4 four four block from every block. And as you can see, what I mean by that is this right here will eventually be a 4x4 four four block uh, for growing. 
um, was that right? I think that is right, yeah. Uh, so then we're gonna put water in here, and then as you can see, we've created another two by two, excuse me, a four, four blocks in total. And uh, basically you just repeat lines like this, like uh, skipping two, put a water down, skipping two, put a water down, skipping two, put a water down, and you can cover large amounts of area like this. This this is actually uh, after I cleared out some some sand, uh, because this is, this I would use this as a sand mine uh, if I could, but no, this is, this is not naturally generating, this is man-made. So I'm going to be making this into a huge sugarcane farm, and therefore I can get tons of paper, and because of that paper, I can get tons of emeralds. Uh, but what I was doing, uh, other than that, was just something like this. This is what people normally do, is they surround a lake, a lake with this stuff, and, uh, as you can see, there's a very, hmm, that's a very tall sugar cane. I don't know if you can see that, but very tall sugar cane in the background. Don't know how it grew that high, but uh, hey, you know how weird Minecraft generation is. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the castle and show you what I've done with the redstone under the castle for the enchanting room. Uh, I've worked a little bit on it, hopefully going to finish that today. And we are back. Back in the castle. Uh, Real quickly, just want to let everyone know, this is the castle. And that's the castle. The reason why I wanted to show that is because I, I do know that some people don't, uh, don't watch all the videos. So if you haven't seen it, you should go watch the previous videos. But this is the enchanting room. Uh, if you don't know, the objective is to have four different rooms for novice, intermediate, uh, master, or grandmaster, or expert, then master, or master than jedi or whatever you want to do but basically you're going to have the lower you know four tiers of enchantments and these water doors are going to decide which door is open so we're gonna have this one center pillar and it's going to have actually what i'm, what I'm hoping to be two buttons and uh, this is the room design i currently have i don't know i've used i use purple wool because i've never used colored wool yet and uh, i don't know i like this this design so far, but what we have here is what we've done so far. So it's cycling through the doors right now, and open means that the water is gone. So I believe this will be the button click. Yes, and so this one would be open, and then now we're on this door. So this one opens, or this one closes, that one's open. Now that one closes, and this one's open. Now that one's closed, and this one opens. And then we're back here again. Okay, now uh, if you didn't see the timing of that, this closes. No, wait, wait. Yeah, this closes, and then this closes just a little bit after, so you don't get any uh, water flowing around here. But uh, what we've got is simply just some pistons that are pushing uh, two blocks. Yeah, two blocks. This one is going to have to be a little bit later. Hang on, let me, uh, I'm going to wire this up real quickly. Do I have any? All right, I'm going to have to, you know what? I'm going to save the water for now. I want to save the water because this is actually how we get down to the redstone room. This is the redstone room. Don't pay attention to it just yet because it's not finished. I'll show you in just a moment. Just a moment. Chill out, guys. You guys. All right, let me make some repeaters. I should... I took what I end up doing is I take all the stuff back to the base once I'm done, like doing redstone for like an hour or something. And because of that, I never have any at the redstone projects because I always take it back home. So there's the problem. So I want this to close a little bit after. Uh, is there anything under here? I believe that we are going to run into that wire, so we can't we can't interfere with that. So we'll cover that up. Um, but we can do is will that power this block all oh, right yeah we should be safe um let me put a torch there and we want this wire what we'll do is oh, geez this is this is actually a walkway above my head so i'll uh i'll mind the walkway and would you get out of here invisible block okay this is starting to make me angry minecraft oh, you've got to be kidding me what what what? 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 Okay, let's stop doing that and 
cover that back up. We'll, we'll fix that later. Uh, that's the main main line that's from the input. All right, so this is going to the other door that's actually set up now. So we need to get power through here. And the way we can do that without interrupting this line is by sending it underneath. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out this. And I believe we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead, since I have a silk touch pick, we'll go ahead and replace this. I'm going ahead and replace that. All covered with cheese. Uh, let's see, let's see, put that there. Yeah, okay. And I don't know, I know these are like elevated, but for some reason you can walk past them sometimes. And we need to get power up through there. And the way we can do that is, hmm, huh. All right, we're gonna have to actually change this real quick and change this around so it's not in our way as much. And perhaps we can move it over. We yeah, we can probably do this so we can. That won't work. We know that won't work. Uh, actually, power this block. All right, yeah. You know what? Forget that. This is the one the one thing that I hate about redstone, or the, the thing I hate most about redstone. Actually, this is there. I hate more than one things about redstone. I hate more than one thing. You gotta use proper grammar. Um, I don't have too much space here either, so I've got to do this very compactly. Um, but yeah, being compact, man, it sucks doing redstone uh, as compact as you can. I believe what I'm gonna have to do is send power like this. So if this is sending power, let me get a redstone torch. There we go. Get a redstone torch. Is that being powered? No, it's not. All right, well, we'll just send a little repeater. That should power it, shouldn't it? All right, that's being powered now. Oh, and that's also powering this block. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're good. We're in good business here. Uh, can I move this? I can't for now. I can't get up there anyways. Oh, I'm telling you, doing redstone sucks. Like, you can never prepare for a redstone video. That's why I nearly do it all off camera or off wraps, whatever you want to see. Off screen. Yeah, I think, I think off screen would be the correct word to use there. So I'm underneath some bookcases currently. All right, this should work. There we go. Okay, so now I'm up here. Uh, and we need to power this piston right up there. But we need to power it a little bit before. So this will be... Hmm. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to invert this first. All right, so this is simulating as if it's sending power, so we'll have to invert it. And I think we just do a little inversion right here. Oops, oopsies. And I think we'll just run the redstone over here. I know this is not the most efficient way, but hey, who cares? All right, and we need that on a certain delay. I, I don't know what I have this one on. Let me check real quick. What do I have that on? Okay, I've got that on max. So I'll fix this up. I do like the purple wool. It is a good color. Uh, it's actually my, probably one of my favorite colors. Uh, purple. That and blue. I like blue a lot too. And let's get the power up there. To do that, I think what we'll do is we'll just power this bit of redstone. Well, oh. Whoa. I'm telling you, my internet is just it's just terrible. Uh let's see. No, but then we'll need a repeater. So we'll have to get that right there. And suppose we could run some redstone up like this. There we go. Okay, so now we should be in business. And that will close everything up. And now what we have to do is one last thing. If I could get back into the redstone room real quickly. So far this is going pretty good. What I've got is, or I think I showed you everything. No, that was in the video that I recorded that failed. So what we've got here is, don't pay attention. The stuff up here is just busing from the outputs. And it's just sending the signal over to the doors. Um, what we have here, if you didn't see the last video, is we've got a pulse transformer. 
uh, or I like to call it transformer because it can, uh, this is just a test button right here. What it does is it transforms the 10 tick pulse that comes from the buttons from the main line uh, into a 5 tick pulse, I believe. Yeah, 5 ticks. And from that 5 tick pulse, it sends it out here. And that's inverted, so all of this is powered, and these are going into my sand cycler. I did a video on the sand cycler. It's a, uh, uh, it's one of my, in one of my Minecraft random videos. Uh, just showed it in my uh, redstone world, and basically uses the alternation of this block, which is a gravel block. It can be pushed around, floating on top of these. I don't think it has to be, like, I, I don't know, see why it would have to be this, but I chose gravel because I don't know. Uh, because I like it, I guess. Anyways, uh, it just set, cycles it around, and depending on where it's at, it will detect it where it's at by which output is on. So that output is just going to be simply bussed to that device that I just built, which is the door opening mechanism. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the next button, which is the second hardest. I did the hardest for the first door. And then I'm going to do the next hardest, which I believe probably be this. So let's get working on that. I think I'm going to first build that up here. I don't think if this becomes powered, what I'll do is I'll just test that. Will this create uh all right, no, this will not create a bud. Uh buds are are uh, block update detectors. So if you create one by di diagonally powering pistons, and you do not want to do that. Uh so I try my best to avoid that. So right from here, all we have to do is simply create, oh, and I've created a clock, or a pulser, a little short clock, and you, wait, can I remove that? No, oh, that would have been bad if there was water under, I've got to be careful, ooh, I do not dig up, do not dig up, I repeat, do not dig up, all right, I'm going to have to go, another thing that I hate. Remember that when I said there was only like one major thing that I hate about redstone? Yeah, I was lying. I was lying. I was lying. And then the next thing we got to worry about is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, twelve. Ooh, that's going to interfere. Um. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll we'll think we'll think about it later. Uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We can apply it so like that. Oop. Oops. Just wanted to break that block. And now we need a repeater right here. And I suppose we could do it like this. Once again, the space requirements are are kind of getting to me because, man, it's hard to build devices like this. I mean, even though it's just pretty much for aesthetics. I mean, this is pretty pointless. I don't need this. I could just, like, take the bookcases out manually. I don't know why you would do this. It's definitely not for efficiency, but it's just to make it, I don't know, make my world a little bit different. Why not? Um, I'm going to take that out. There we go. All right, we should be good, all good in the hood. Now I'm gonna remove this because we've got an inverter right here and that's gonna refresh the signal. So why take, why take the extra delay? All right, I was just thinking for there for a second. Um, hmm, I guess I could, uh, one thing I also suggest doing is, uh, is trying to, if you're trying to keep your workspace clean, you should definitely use different blocks for like, you know, if there's going to be redstone on it, you want to use a different type of block. Like I try to use a stone brick and also try to remove as many, like those blocks I just removed. Uh, if you remove those, it just makes things easier to get around. So now I've got two of them set up and I'm going to go out to test this and that should be the video. Okay, so here, this, uh, this would be closed. All right, so this one's closed and that one's open. Whoa. All right, so this one's open. Now this one's open. Oh, this. All right, now this one's open. Now this one's open. 
And now this one's open. Wow, yeah, this is working nice. Ooh, I like it. Hmm, all right. So I'm going to save the finished product in the next video. So you might want to come back and return. Make sure, make sure to subscribe if you want to see the next video. You'll be reminded. It will appear in your sub box. Hopefully you know how YouTube works. But I think that's where I'm going to end the video for today. I need to fix up these enchanting rooms. I will finish this before the next video. And in the next video, we'll start another project. Well, no, actually, you know what? I don't know what we're going to do in the next video. I'll be thinking. Um, I, I don't ask for likes. I ask for comments. I want feedback. I want any comments if you want to. I'm actually, I've been looking for, uh, what are they, contestants? I, well, not contestants because it's not a cost. Uh, it's not a contest. But I've been looking for commenters to put in the four, uh, four swords tower, and I have two that I think are going to be added. So I might do that next video. So you want to stick around to see what that's all about. Make sure you leave a comment and you have a chance to win a spot in the four swords tower. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And as always, have a good one.